As the total U.S. household debt grew in recent decades, on top of record low interest rates since the great financial crisis, borrowing had become more accessible and cheap for individuals and businesses, which leads to a surge in credit utilization and lending activities. Enters Fair Isaac, the mastermind behind credit scoring system in America. As the demand for reliable risk assessment soars, FICO's solutions have become ingrained in the financial system, helping lenders evaluate creditworthiness and manage loan assets. Yet, the story doesn't end there. Rising household debt paints a complex picture for FICO's growth. On one hand, increased borrowing by households creates an opportunity for FICO to shine. Thanks, Judy. Yeah, the New York Fed in its fourth quarter household debt and credit report reporting that debt surged by $394 billion in the fourth quarter. That is the largest increase in two decades. Breaking it down, mortgages up a strong $254 billion. Credit cards up $61 billion, the largest quarterly increase in the history of the survey going back to 1999. Auto loans up and student loans as well. The more debt the average American take, it can be mortgages, car loans, or credit card debt. Lenders need to seek their expertise by reviewing your creditworthiness which the FICO score to make informed lending decisions. And over the years, FICO's credit scoring and risk assessment services become the go-to tool for financial institutions looking to tread carefully in a world of mounting debt. So, in today's video, let's take a look into Fair Isaac, the company that booms as Americans drown in debt. Before going any further, Please hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel hit 5,000 subscribers before end of this year. The story of FICO began when Earl Isaac, a mathematician at Stanford University's Operations Research Department, met Bill Fair, a former engineer at the Stanford Research Institute. Recognizing the need for a more systematic and objective means of assessing creditworthiness, they collaborated to develop a revolutionary credit scoring system. In 1956, Fair and Isaac established their company in San Rafael, California, and initially focused on providing consulting services and building custom credit scoring models for various clients. Their first breakthrough came in 1958 when they introduced the first statistically-based credit scoring system. This pioneering system, known as the Fair Isaac Risk Model, was a significant departure from traditional subjective methods used to evaluate credit applicants. By leveraging statistical analysis and mathematical models, Fair Isaac brought a new level of objectivity, consistency, and efficiency to credit risk assessment. The system analyzed various factors such as payment history, outstanding debt, and length of credit history to generate a credit score that predicted the likelihood of default. Over the years, FICO expanded its product portfolio and diversified into decision management solutions, fraud detection, customer analytics, and more. FICO score, introduced in 1989, became the most widely used credit scoring model, setting a standard for the industry. FICO's solutions revolutionized the way lenders evaluated creditworthiness, providing greater efficiency and accuracy in the lending process. By enabling lenders to make data-driven decisions, FICO played a pivotal role in democratizing access to credit and promoting financial inclusion. Today, FICO's credit scoring models have become the industry standard in the United States. FICO score are being used by 90% of lenders, banks, credit card companies, and other financial institutions to assess the creditworthiness of individuals and make informed lending decisions. It has become an integral part of America's lending ecosystem, enabling fair and consistent evaluation of credit applicants across the country. And now let's look into the acquisition history of Fair Isaac. In 2002, they purchased HNC Software Inc. for $810 million. HNC Software Inc. is a leading provider of predictive analytics and decision management solutions. The company made the acquisition to strengthen its position in the fraud detection and risk management space. In 2012, Fair Isaac acquired Adeptra for $115 million, a provider of cloud-based customer engagement and risk intervention solutions. 
This acquisition was made to enhance Fair Isaac's capabilities in real-time interactive communications, enabling businesses to proactively manage customer interactions and mitigate risks. Next, in 2014, the company acquired Infocentricity, a provider of analytic and decision management solutions. In 2015, Fair Isaac acquired Tonbeller AG, a provider of financial crime and compliance solutions for $56.6 million. And finally, in 2016, the company acquired Quadmetrics, a cybersecurity risk assessment company. This helped the company's cybersecurity capabilities, enabling the development of advanced predictive analytics and scoring models to assess and mitigate cyber risks. Now for the important part of the video, let's look at how decade-long low interest rate environment has helped Fair Isaac to achieve incredible growth in the past decade. Firstly, low interest rates create an environment where borrowing costs are reduced, making it more attractive for individuals and businesses to take on debt. This has led to a surge in borrowing and increased credit utilization across the United States. As households leveraged up to purchase homes, cars, and other goods, the credit market boomed. FICO has benefited from this increased lending activity as its credit scoring solutions became in higher demand. And with the booming credit market, financial institutions needed a reliable and objective measure to assess the creditworthiness of borrowers. FICO's credit scoring models, particularly for FICO score, have become the de facto industry benchmark for evaluating credit risk. This widespread adoption and recognition have made FICO's core product, the consumer credit rating business, highly sticky in the industry. Financial institutions rely on FICO scores to make lending decisions, creating a competitive advantage and moat for the company. And finally, for the most important part, FICO's dominant position as the industry benchmark for credit scoring has allowed it to fend off competitors and maintain a strong market position. The company's credit rating business benefits from network effects, where the more financial institutions and lenders adopt FICO scores, the more valuable the scores become. This network effect and the strong brand reputation have helped FICO sustain its competitive advantage and generate high returns on equity and growth. So, with that, we can see how the company was able to achieve such an incredible growth to become the consumer credit benchmark in Americans' financial system. With that, let's end the video. This is Visionomics, signing out.